welcome to this Tech and Change channel video and in this video I'll be showing you how to operate a layout with DigiTrains Pro and JMRI. So providing you've got JMRI set up already to connect DigiTrains Pro you go into Decoder Pro note this has to be on a separate computer the one you're using to run DigiTrains Pro you go on Decoder Pro there's Decoder Pro and you go Actions start web server. If if we want to use Refrottle, we use Refrottle server, but that's the only app that uses the Refrottle server. So all the other apps use the web server. So we click start web server and then we go into here and it shows up as GMRI connected. Connect it will ask you if you want to overwrite what's here with the JMRI, with the trains in JMRI. You can do that, but if you keep this the same and don't overwrite, it'll give you more functionality because on JMRI you can't give trains pictures and this gives it a lot more functionality. But if you overwrite with JMRI every time, you'll be overwriting some of the settings you've changed on here. You can create a new train by clicking the plus on the top left corner. Note this will only save onto your computer, it will not save onto JMRI. So if you want to add it to JMRI, you need to go and do that on the computer that's running Decoder Pro. Train we do is you click click on it and it should flash up over here. So we can see that at the moment the Pendolino is set to zero speed. You can change the speed, so you can change it between speed steps and um Realistic speeds, you can go on here, speed display, and you can go and select which one you want to do. You can go speed steps, or you can just go on automatic, which is um, miles an hour or kilometers an hour, and you can go on miles an hour or kilometers an hour. But this will t t tell it, if you click here, that the train at the moment is traveling at 40 kilometers an hour, and that will mean that you've set it up to have to have the speed set up basically. Same at the top and we have the address here. You can change the picture just simply by doing that and opening the file. But down here we have all the functions. If you can see if we click on any of these, all of these are default latching at the moment. You can change it in the settings, I think. Yeah. So if you want your function to be latching or non-latching, it's here. This means latching, this means non-latching. So if I click down any of these, I can turn it to non-latching. Latching means if you click the button, the function will stay on. You click it again, the function will go off. Non-latching is when you click the button, as long as you hold it down, it turns on. And as soon as you let go, it will turn off. The train at the top uses the arrow keys. So the left arrow key and the right arrow key change the direction. And the up and down change the speed. have noticed, unfortunately, that... When you turn the volume up on the computer, training up here will increase the speed. Unfortunately, you cannot use any keys to control this one. Haven't figured out how you do it yet. I don't think there is a way. Operate a train. You just click on these buttons and the train will speed up or slow down. If we want to turn on the functions on and off, we can just go like that. And the light should go off. Just see what the light is there. Yep, we'll turn them back on again. And we can change direction. Yeah, they go off that end. Change direction again. And that's really in Digitrains Pro. If you enjoyed watching this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.